What's going on guys? It's Gamestone here. And I know I've brought you a lot of current, obviously, topics that are happening right now in the NBA. Obviously, D-Wade to the Cavs, Carmelo to the Thunder, blah, 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 blah. We all get it by now. But here's something I'm going to make my case for Kobe or LeBron. Obviously, probably the most talked about um, discussion. It's, it's the biggest discussion, always. You know, it just happens to be Kobe LeBron. Kobe LeBron. You'll see it in any channel, it seems. Um, so I'm just going to try my best to uh, break it down for you guys and see if you guys agree with me or not. So uh, just one thing I wanted to say before anything, I am a Laker fan, but that's not. I'm not going to be biased. I'm not going to say Kobe, Kobe is the GOAT and LeBron sucks. I am not like that. I'm fair for both sides, and I'll try to support both sides as much as I can. But I'm just going to come out and say it. I do think Kobe is better than LeBron. I don't hate LeBron. Uh, in my opinion, he is the best small forward of all time. He is a top 10 player, if not better. Um, he is the most dominant and best all-around player in NBA history. I just want to get that out of the way before... I say anything else. Now, obviously we all know Kobe has five rings and LeBron has three. Uh, one reason why I think Kobe's better is that killer instinct he has. He has one of the, he has probably the player with the most killer instinct other than Jordan in the whole NBA history. I'll take killer instinct over anything. You know, he wants to take the last shot. LeBron does not always want to take the last shot. Now, obviously, there are some times when, you know, against uh, uh, some I've watched against the Washington Wizards last season, the turnaround fadeaway three-pointer, or the one against Orlando in Game 2 in 2009 Eastern Conference Finals, that three-pointer, or that layup in Game 1 in 2013 against Indiana. I've seen all of them. I'm not saying that he's not capable. I'm just saying he doesn't take it all the time. He likes to pass it out sometimes, and he likes to shoot it sometimes. It kind of depends what he's feeling at that time, but Kobe's always going to be shooting the ball, always going to be shooting the ball in the clutch moments. Kobe Bryant is probably one of the most clutch players of all time. No, not probably. He is one of the most clutch players of all time. I don't care what the statistics say about you know, less than three minutes to go. Kobe only shoots like 35%. I don't care about the statistics. A lot of the time, you know, the stats just, they're, Kobe's stats in terms of field goal percentage, it was good. You know, it wasn't amazing in terms of like 50%. It was nothing like that, you know, but when he had a bad year, like let's talk about 2014. What did he shoot? Like 30, 37%? You know what? He was injured. Came off an like Achilles injury. Especially these last three years, you can't you can't base someone's career off their injuries, you know? Kobe Bryant, he's not a Derrick Rose. Kobe Bryant's, you know, a five-time champion. He's played in this league for 20 years, and honestly, he's been consistent in most of them. The only times where he had an off time was, let's see, 2011. What about 2011? Well, didn't he have a thumb injury and he had, like, more injuries on top of that? Yeah. So he had a bunch of injuries. I'm pretty sure there's a photo you can find of all his injuries throughout his career. And if you see that picture, it will amaze you. Because when you see that, you know, I don't know who's going to play with those injuries. Kobe Bryant shot two free throws after tearing his Achilles. And they won the game because of him, technically. Um, and that was a crucial game for them to make it into the playoffs. I clearly remember that with D. Howard and Steve Nash. Um, but other than that, I mean, Kobe Bryant, have you watched his highlights? Now, I know, I know a lot of LeBron supporters are more young supporters. I know they're like 12, 11. More around that age, so I completely understand how you guys never watched Kobe in his prime. You kind of only watched Kobe maybe in the the earliest they probably watched them was probably 2013, 14. You know, somewhere around there. So I don't I don't expect people to know how Kobe played like in his prime, especially if you're a younger viewer. But you should not say LeBron is better if you've never watched Kobe. That's just how it is. If you have to watch both players. You know, you have to watch their games, you have to take everything to consideration, and you just have to say, if after you know what you're talking about, then that makes your opinion credible. 
But if you just watch one player and not the other, you can't just say the other player is better than the other. That's not fair to the other player. And in this case, you're saying LeBron's better than Kobe. Well, maybe you haven't watched when he was younger. Now, I never watched when he was with Shaq, but I definitely watched it when he was in his prime years, 2006, 2007, maybe one game from 2005. So I've seen highlights. The games I did not watch of Kobe live, I watched the highlights of it, you know? What about the game, game four or something, when, uh, when L.A. was up 2-1 in Indiana? Shaq fouls out. They go into overtime. Kobe takes over. They win the game. And they win the series ultimately in L.A. that year. You know? Well, what about the game in Sacramento? Kobe took over. You know, the, what about in San Antonio? He totally crushed the San Antonio Spurs. His, you want to talk about numbers? You should look at his numbers from the playoffs in those type of years. They were just crazy. Now, I don't want to say LeBron's a pad stu- uh, a stat stuffer. He's definitely, he's not that. But sometimes, you know, it kind of seems like he is. I'm not saying he definitely is, but he does it a little bit. Come on, you have to admit that. You know, I've seen LeBron play, and sometimes, you know, when he when he could easily drive in, maybe he wants to pass it for more assists. You know, that could happen sometimes. I'm not saying that's what he prioritizes, but I've seen it sometimes. Kobe's definitely not one of those type of players. Kobe's always gonna he's always willing to take the shot, but at the same time, he's trying to get the best he's trying to get the best shot, and he's trying to get the man open, obviously. Why do you think he has five championships? He's not and you guys call him a ball hog. Well, he he actually has a ton of assists. I know he played 20 years, but he's not a ball hog. And if he is a ball hog, he's a good ball hog, if you know what that means. He, you know, he takes a bunch of shots, but he can hit them. He won five championships by doing that, you know? I don't see people calling Russell Westbrook that much of a ball hog compared to Kobe. But Kobe has five, Russell has zero. Like, I don't know what these, I don't know why you guys are saying he's a bad ball hog. He's really not, because if, if he was, he wouldn't have championships. You guys say he carried Shaq? No, he did not carry Shaq. I will admit, though, at the time, Shaq was the better player. But Shaq needed Kobe just as much as Kobe needed Shaq. They complemented each other. They both needed each other. Shaq wasn't going to win without Kobe. What did Shaq do before Kobe? You know? Kobe couldn't do much without Shaq, but, I mean, he had Kwame Brown. That's just, you're replacing a superstar with trash. But, I mean, you have to realize that Shaq didn't carry Kobe. They helped each other out. They did whatever it took to win championships, and Shaq even said that was the best big man, little man duo in NBA history. And Shaq even admitted he did not carry me. He helped me, I helped him. That's how you win championships, you know? Did LeBron carry Wade? No. They helped each other, you know. But at the same time, you know, I can understand where you're coming from. Shaq was a, definitely a beast, but no, he did not carry Kobe. They carried each other. Kobe, need, Kobe needed him when, when he was in need, obviously. Shaq fouled out, Kobe took over. You know, times like those, you have to really look into it. And... I want to add in when they carried when he carried the Lakers to a game four victory in Indiana. The game before he uh, he sprained his ankle, he rolled his ankle. So if you LeBron fans, those twelve year olds don't know that, I can understand. But sometimes you need to like look into those things before starting to run your mouth around and saying LeBron's better than Kobe. Why all the statistics? You know, there's much more in basketball than statistics. That's something you guys have to realize. Okay. You know, Kobe's determination, Kobe's will, Kobe's killer instinct, you know, Th- those things, I just have to put Kobe over, LeBron. Um, Kobe is the closest thing to Jordan. And LeBron, I, I can see why he left Cleveland in 2010. Kobe was going to leave 2007, right? Obviously, they got Pau Gasol, and they won two championships. So he didn't leave. But everyone's saying, oh, Kobe's not loyal. He wanted to leave in 2007. But did he leave? Did he? No, he did not leave. I don't think he left. It. He was a Laker for life. LeBron, you went to Miami, which I don't blame you for. You had a pretty bad team. But then you join D. Wade, Chris Bosh, and you get Ray Allen a few years later. Mario Chalmers, Shane Battier, Chris Anderson. That's a super team. 
you know. And then LeBron joins the Cavs again to team up with Kyrie and Kevin Love. They won a championship, and now what? He has D-Wade, Isaiah Thomas, Kevin Love. So LeBron's always on a good team before 2010. And when, when did he win all his championships? After 2010. You know, I'm not trying to hate on LeBron, but, you know, of course, and, and you guys say, oh, you made it to more finals than Kobe. Well, of course he did. I'm not trying to take anything away from his final appearances, but are you kidding me? Look at the East, dude. Who's competitive in the East? Are you telling me the Celtics are capable of beating the Cavaliers? No, they're not. What about the previous years? The best team that LeBron has probably versed in the Eastern Conference in his whole career was probably the Boston Celtics with Rondo, Ray Allen, Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, and he lost them all the time. That's why he joined Miami. And then, obviously, they're Indiana, but they obviously were not ready at the time. So, in all honesty, LeBron had no competition. Kobe's always had, you know, Tim Duncan Spurs, and at the time, Steve Nash's Phoenix Suns, Dirk Nowitzki's uh, Dallas Mavericks, Carlos Boozer, Darren Williams, Utah Jazz, Tracy McGrady, Yao Ming, you know, and then, obviously, uh, Ron Artest, Shane Battier, Luis Scola, Houston Rockets, you know. You really have to look at this. And, and what about the team with Melo, Iverson, and uh, um, Chauncey Billups, with Chris Anderson? Like, you got to really look at the competition comparing. Like, you guys can say, oh, Kobe versus weak opponents in the finals. Well, who did he have to verse to get to the finals? He versed all those great teams. And you see LeBron versing, like, the 2016 Atlanta Hawks. Really? Oh, sorry, sorry. 2015 Detroit Pistons. Ooh. Really? I don't hate LeBron. I really respect him and I appreciate his greatness. But when LeBron fans start running their mouth, talking about who's better, and they have no idea who Kobe is when he was in his prime, you know, you can't really... You, your opinion's not really credible when you have not watched Kobe. You know? Sure, LeBron's projected to have better statistics than Kobe. But you have to take everything into consideration. Look at the game. Who has more championships? LeBron is definitely the most dominant player of all time. But would he have made seven straight finals if... Or sorry, six straight finals if he was in the West? Maybe he would have made like three or four, but six? I don't know about that. And that's always one thing that I, you know, Kobe has over LeBron. Kobe was always in the West, versing tough opponents, always. Even in the first round, he was versing tough opponents. But LeBron, you verse like who? Marcus Morris? Or do you want to verse Tim Duncan in the first round, second round, third round? Kobe's definitely a better scorer. LeBron's a better rebounder. And a lot of people don't realize how great of a defender Kobe Bryant is. He is a top defender, and he's made it to all defensive first teams for a reason. Go watch his highlights, then come back and try to debate me. Because if you guys only watch LeBron and not Kobe, that, that doesn't make your opinion credible. You should not be able to debate well with another person if you have no idea how Kobe was like when he was younger. You know, Kobe Kobe's on another level. You know, LeBron's a freak. He's a beast. But Kobe's on another level. He's on, he's on a different planet. And sure, the statistics might not go Kobe's way, but if you watch the games, if you watched how he impacted a game, if you watched how, how, what the, how his determination was to win, you know, at the age of 34, being all injured and stuff, he wanted to guard Kyrie and all that stuff, trying to win championships. I have to take that over LeBron. I'm sorry. All the LeBron fans, but you guys have to do some research on Kobe. Now, I don't mean go look at his statistics and come back and say, oh, LeBron, blah, 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 blah. That's what LeBron fans do all the time. They just pull up the statistics. But, you know, you have to watch the game. And you could also say LeBron has better stats than Jordan, but everyone knows that Jordan's better. Why? You have to watch his game. The eye test. It's not always about the numbers and the analytics and the PER rating. That's just nowadays. The kids, the media, they use that. But the old-fashioned NBA fans, they use the eye test. 
thanks for guys for watching. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. And I want to know who you guys think is better, Kobe or LeBron. Now, like I said before, if you don't know how Kobe played when he was younger, even maybe if you never watched LeBron or you watch Kobe, I don't know why you do that. But you guys have to watch both in order to debate, to debate if that makes sense. So, yeah, comment down below who you think is better. Uh, like, uh, Drop a like for this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more content. All right, guys, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.